that makes Hollywood Squares look like America's most wanted. John is Jenny by with another painstakingly researched edition of Wicked. Wicked. Come on, Christine. Okay, guys, if you don't know how it goes, uh, I give you three famous people who mm -hmm. have something in common. Then I give you a semi-obscure factoid from their Wikipedia page, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you have to tell me which one it applies to, okay? okay. Now, as always, not everybody has a factoid chosen because some people are boring <laughs> or some people are exactly what you would expect. So today we have some of the halftime performers for the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. Sam, okay, okay. Dr. Dre, <laughs> Snoop Dogg, yes. and Mary J. Blige. Yeah. I was gonna do Eminem, but he's one of those ones who's, his past is exactly what you, yeah. and he, it's in every one of his songs. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And uh, I haven't seen Eight Mile, it's probably an Eight Mile. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I also, I have not seen Straight Outta Compton, so I don't know if any of this information is given away in there either. That's you, your homework assignment. You're you would think I would have seen both of those yeah. movies, yeah. but I have not. Okay, okay guys, uh, question number one. I should let you know, too, uh, format change. Oh. Uh, the, the final question is going to be like a word problem almost on a, on a... Do we need scratch paper? Yeah. No, but I you're going to need to you're gonna need to lay out something. Well, I like games. My paper. Yeah. But I do, have, I do have a visual aid here to explain the answer. Okay. Here right. we go. Uh, you're, as I mentioned, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige are the three Kay. people today. First question, whose father was in an R&B group called The Ramels? Hmm. Wait, can, can I hear Snoop Dogg saying The Ramels? The Ramels. Okay, that's it. I'm going to say with Snoop Dogg. Wait, can I tell you? Swear, in my head I was thinking, I feel like it's Snoop. And when you asked that question, I was like, there's a reason why yeah. she asked that question. <laughs> my, I agree daddy, with Tina. my daddy's yeah. in the Romeo. Yeah. See? See? <laughs> not. It's not. You don't it's think it's Snoop? Snoop? No. It's Who do you think it is? Snoop. Mary Kay. Mary, Mary Kay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Blige. Yeah. Yep. Or Mary J. Yeah. Or Mary J. Uh, Mary J. Mary J. <laughs> well, you know, it would make sense, right? Because Mary J herself is an R&B right. singer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. And you're right. Uh, Romeo's does... Does sound nice coming off. It does, doesn't it? Okay. But everything does. That's true. <clears throat> Ramel actually is this person's middle name because oh. of this. Oh. Because of this. Because of oh. this. Oh. Oh. Ramel. So what? I feel like that's probably a male's middle name. So it's either mm -hmm. Dre or Snoop. I feel like. Andre Ramel oh. Young, aka Dr. Dre. Oh. Dr. Dre. Oh. Wow. Oh. Okay, so, so we got everybody. Okay. Everybody's right. out on that one. The relish <laughs> is safe. Nobody's going to go uh, three, for, three for three today. Question number two. Who recorded their first demo in a mall recording booth? Like, record like those store old has school. like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> this is great. Mm. All right, can I hear Snoop saying <laughs> mall recording booth? We this didn't good have this good. mall recording groups, right? Okay. Mall okay. recording booth. Yeah. yeah. No. Do we? No, I don't. It doesn't. I'm gonna I'm a record my demo in a mall recording booth. I, I don't mm. know. I feel like it's a Mary J. Thing. Mary J. Because in the mall, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's more of a songstress mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with Mary J. Yeah. You think Mary J? Mary J. What, what do you think, Christine? Snoop Dogg. You're going Snoop Dogg. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, guys, you know Dr. Dre, because of his father, was into music at a very young yeah. age. You know, yeah. and he started making, producing beats and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, but. Equipment was limited, A, by budget, and B, Expensive, this is the yeah. 70s and 80s, you yeah. know? Yeah. So you gotta go where you can go. Mm -hmm. So back in 1988, Mary J. Blige went to the Galleria Mall in White Plains, New York. Oh! Oh and God. get this. She played it later for her stepfather, who was a recording artist in AR in AR A and R mm -hmm. at Uptown Records. He sent it to Andre Harrell, who was the CEO oh, of Uptown yeah. Records. Yes. And he gave her a gig singing backup vocals for Father MC, remember? Father MC. Yeah. Ha! And then later, uh, she got to know Sean Combs, and okay. the rest, and as the they say, is history. Oh, that's good stuff. Okay, now this is the one that okay. I told you you guys are going to need to like do a little work on. Okay. okay. You guys can collaborate if you'd like. Okay. okay. I'd like to. You guys, you ready, ladies? Yeah. It's very okay. simple. Okay. Okay. Explain the Dr. Dre, Warren G, and Nate Dogg relationship. Who's related to oh. who? Who? Oh. I used to know. And that. how are they related? Oh gosh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. This is why I thought this was such a good question. Okay. 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 I feel like 
aren't Warren G and Nate Dogg cousins? I know you're not gonna tell me this. Okay. Yeah, work it out. Um, and I've I've drawn a diagram here when I do explain it. Oh, it's a diagram. Okay. It's not a very not a very complex one, but. And then. Regulators, mount, mount up. up. Yes. Mount up. Mount up. All right, show us. You guys, okay. I feel like two are cousins, and then one is related by marriage. <clears throat> Somebody, would, would you look at the? <laughs> oh my gosh. Diagram. So we have Warren G. Wait, where's Warren? Okay. Up Warren. at the top here. Okay. Oh, okay. His stepbrother is Dr. Dre. His stepbrother. Okay. okay. He's friends with Snoop. Right. Whose cousin is Nate Dogg. Dang it! Who is also friends with Warren G. Now, it was right there. Both right their there. last names are Dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't get that part. Can, can we just I, talk yeah. about I the fact that, that we did 23 and me this thing? No. John took a piece, and that's probably scratch paper. It's probably got writing on the other side. No, it doesn't. <laughs> and diagram Dr. Dre. Yeah. Snoop and Warren G. Yeah. He's going to take that piece of paper home so uh, his daughter can put stickers on it. Yeah. So it's funny. You think of Dr. Dre kind of being the, you know, the linchpin. Yeah. yeah. But it's really Warren G that brings it all together. I see. He's the one that connects them all. Got it. He's yeah, the, I started with Dr. Dre. Third degree of That's separation. where I thought it started. That's where you started? Yeah. Wait, well, you, you started a diagram also? Well, he told me to. Now you could. <laughs> Anything John says. Now you could argue, though, that Doctor. I mean, you know, in terms of the industry, he is the linchpin doctor. Sure, sure. He's sure. the one that made it all happen yeah. for everyone. Yeah. But as far as the connections. Yeah, I did not know the Nate Dogg Warren G. Familial connection. I'm sorry, uh, Snoop, Snoop Dogg Nate Dogg mm -hmm. familial. I didn't know they were related. But again, they have the same last name. But it was circuitous, <laughs> so we yeah. figured it out. SAT word. Circuitous. Yeah, by the way, on the SAT, you're going to have to, you need to know this if you share your work. That's right. That's right. You can get in a college. But it's optional, so you don't have to take it if you yeah. don't want to. You can get in a college and then work at a TV station. Yeah. 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 <laughs>